It's not as common as the Santa Fe War Bonnet or the New York Central's Lightning Stripe, but I've always admired the colors of the Northern Pacific Diesels. $156 for a brand new, unpowered locomotive, or even $89 for a motorized but repainted unit, don't really seem like my best options, though. Sometimes it's nice to start with a blank canvas, and I was able to buy this shell online for only $20. I have a feeling it's a reproduction, but the molding is crisp, and everything lines up with the mounting points of a genuine Lionel frame. The first color I need to spray will be the glossy white. It will serve as the belt line or dividing color between the two greens. It's going to make masking for those colors much easier down the road. It's going to be nearly a week before this is cured to the point where I can safely apply masking tape over it. I don't want the overall application of paint to be too thick, so I'll use the shell's natural lines to spray as little white as possible. White went on very well. Now I just have to be patient enough to leave it alone. Applying the next layer of masking tape too soon will result in a textured pattern upon removal, which is the last thing I want with glossy white. I also want it to be smooth not only for appearance's sake, but because a smooth surface is better for preventing seepage under the tape when it comes time for the surrounding colors. I'm pushing the tape down as much as I can, and I'm using a paper towel to avoid transferring any oils from my skin onto the areas that will be painted next.
a satin finish and tend to dry more quickly than the gloss. The lighter color I'd consider to be a truer satin finish. For some reason, maybe temperature or humidity, the darker green is a lot shinier. It would have been nice to find decals specifically for an O-gauge F unit, but I think I can make these work. They're from Microscale and are meant for an HO scale caboose, but the circular logos are about the right size, and now I have a few extra for later projects. Perhaps a Lionel Alco diesel? I think so. The front end is a little plain. Grab rails on either side of the decal would have helped, so maybe I'll drill holes and add those in the future. My diesel will not be prototypically correct, but I think it'll still look pretty good when I'm done. When I ordered the blank shell, I also added the cab glass, roof horns, and the headlamp lens. And you know, after buying all those things, plus the paint and decals, my expenses are approaching the $50 mark. Maybe I should have just bought the completed brand new dummy unit. But where's the fun in that? This is a dummy unit that my daughter bought for me this Christmas. The shell is in great shape, except for that nose decal. And since it's part of the family now, it will be sharing its base with my new Northern Pacific F3 shell.
The paint is so nice, including the graphics behind the cab door, but the decal is falling apart. Luckily, reproduction decals are available, so I'll fix this eventually, but the frame is what I need right now, and it's in pretty darn good shape. There were a few other decals meant for an HO scale caboose. I'm talking about the white lettering in the light green areas. It's small, but I decided to use them anyway. I won't apply a clear coat, however. Just in case I get sick of them, they could always be removed. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.